Okay, Hyundai iLoad we're working with today. These are the Delphi injectors. These are also found in some other vehicles such as the Holden Captiva. Um, so these have a problem. If you've done something with your fuel system and now the, the vehicle won't start, uh, that's because if these aren't bled properly, what happens is the compression of the motor gets up inside the injector and actually... Um, jam something up inside the injector itself so we're going to look at uh, a proper way to bleed these we're also going to look at how you can rectify the situation if you are already at a no start um, circumstance uh, or you might have it running rough after particularly if you've had the injectors out um, and had fuel out of them this happens but anytime it loses la rail pressure so theoretically if you change the fuel filter it could happen, although I've never seen it happen during a fuel filter change. Uh, but we will look at the process to bleeding these. So basically what we are going to do is we are, we are going to bleed the system bit by bit basically. So we will start with the um, the simple bit to start with like you'd normally do on a diesel system and that is to pump up pressure at the fuel filter itself it also has a little bleed plug on the side to undo that first get fuel coming out of there do it back up and then um, get that pump to go hard okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to loosen off the injector pipes okay make sure that there is no pressure in your fuel rail when you're doing this um, so we're going to loosen them off about half a turn and the important thing, this is a really important thing here, is we will unplug the injectors themselves and that's going to stop them from opening up and getting that compression pressure going back up inside that injector. Okay, so it's important to note at this point too that this is only for this type of injector that has the back leak pipe on it. If it doesn't have that then it will be the PZO type injector which this process is not for and we don't want to do on that type of injector. But if you have these Delphi injectors with this back leak pipe then they are the problem injectors and this is the process that we need to run through. Okay so the next thing you need to do is now disconnect your inlet metering valve on your high pressure fuel pump. Okay that is this little solenoid thing um, looking thing on the back. Uh, if this is the view looking um, you know front on to the engine bay and you'll see this down on the high pressure pump. The plug is underneath it. You need to undo that and that is going to uh, basically increase our fuel rail pressure. Okay, and then uh, you'll crank it until you get fuel coming out of all of those lines uh, that you had backed off, and then once those uh, all have fuel coming out of them, you can then tighten those up, but we still don't plug these injectors back in yet. Okay, then we need to grab our scan tool, plug it in, and we are looking at live data, and we are looking at our fuel pressure. Okay, we want to see pressure in our fuel rail above 30 megapascals. Um, in this case, the tool reads in hectopascals, so we will need 300,000 of those um, to be equivalent to 30 um, megapascals. Okay, so um, then we're going to crank it, and you can see we are getting plenty over that there. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to remove the glow plugs, and they are on the right hand side of the engine above the exhaust manifold. So we are going to pull those out of there, and what we want to see when we crank is fuel coming out of those holes, well fuel vapour anyway, um, and but by removing them we remove uh, the compression from the motor at the same time. 
Okay, you can then go and plug in all of your injectors. Um, now we're not going to have compression to cause issues. And we are going to crank until we see fuel vapor coming out. Now that is obviously getting flat. Okay, at this point you can reassemble everything, put those glow plugs back in. Um, your injectors are already plugged in, but you can go and plug back in the um, metering valve on the high pressure pump, and you are ready to at least try and start uh, your vehicle. Um, but if you've already caused issues or um, or it doesn't start well, don't worry, stay tuned because we will talk about how to rectify the situation um, when you have an injector that is already blocked up. Okay, so uh, let's say um, the bleeding procedure didn't work or uh, maybe you'd already done it and uh, you already had issues where maybe even your vehicle doesn't start. Um, so I'd suggest uh, going through all of that bleeding process, uh, especially if you're in a no-start situation. Um, but if you've got issues, maybe like in our case, we um, just had had one injector that wasn't firing, so we were running on three cylinders. So this valve here on your um, high pressure pump, what you want to do is unplug that and you want to crank the motor again because what this does is it helps jump up that uh, that um, rail pressure which actually for some reason seems to help unblock the injectors just with that extra pressure so um, sometimes it's a matter of cranking it and then um, plugging it back in trying it and then just repeating that that process okay and then if you can get it to run with this unplugged uh, you know just for a little while that will help um, actually to clear the injectors as well uh, so this is our one here so you can see the kind of pressures we're getting with that valve unplugged okay and that was while it was running on three cylinders okay um, but for us it was just a matter of uh, repeating a few times you know running for a bit with this unplugged and then plugging it back in and trying again uh, and eventually uh, that last injector also got cleared um, and we ended up with the uh, the thing running perfectly fine so yeah big headaches with these if they're not bled properly um, but you can rescue them worse comes to worse uh, if you try all of this and you just can't get get it to free up um, an injector or any of the injectors uh, you can remove the injectors, take them to a diesel specialist and they can actually uh, pull them apart and get them all freed up for you. But I hope this has helped you out today and got you out of a sticky situation. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, for more tips from Real Mechanics and we tackle some of these tricky issues as well. Um, so yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.